So we're going to go ahead and start with our breath work. And you all are very used to my directions for that. So we'll go ahead and lengthen up nice and tall. You're welcome to close your eyes, but you don't have to. However you'd like to sit, just sit your hands somewhere where it allows you to hold a nice lift in your heart. And I have a tendency to stick my belly out when I'm in hero. So if you see me like moving around, it's because I'm checking myself periodically to make sure I'm not doing that. <laughs> Things that you notice when you start filming yourself doing yoga. So we'll just relax the shoulders down, relax the jaw, relax the tongue off the roof of the mouth. Slowing down each round of breath. Filling and emptying the lungs completely. If you'd like to do the counted breath, since you're a little more advanced, you're welcome to either inhaling for three and exhaling for six or four and eight. One more round and go ahead and return to normal breathing. And on the next inhale, let's raise up extra tall. Exhale, right ear down towards the shoulder. Keeping the heart lifted. Next inhale, we'll come up. Exhale, other side. Next inhale, we'll come up, exhale, drape the arm over to the right. Let's pull our shoulder towards our hip a bit here. Open to the sky if you'd like. Next inhale, we'll come up, exhale, drape the arm over to the left, push the, the ribs a bit to the right, pull the shoulder down toward the hip a bit. And go ahead and open up to the sky a bit if you'd like. And next inhale, we'll come on out of it. Exhale, remove the block or the pillow or whatever if you think it'll get in your way when we fold. So let's 
Sit up tall, big inhale, exhale, dive it down. Dropping the hands, flat back, active neck. Relaxing the jaw. Folding a bit more as you get warm. If you feel like you can retain the flat back. And next inhale, big exhale. Let's walk the hands to the right. Gently press into that left hip a bit. Really just opening up the side here above the hip. Next inhale, let's walk through the middle. Exhale, over to the left. And again, just push the right hip a little towards the right. You can open up that side a bit more. Next inhale, let's come up. You can change how your legs are if you want. Inhale tall, exhale walk it back. Looking up if it's comfortable. Allow the muscles to work on the front of the neck so we're keeping the neck very active here, not throwing the head back. And then let's push the shoulders forward and down a bit. Sorry for the extra noise. My cat is playing in the hallway. <laughs> One of my cats. They get very excited when the windows get opened. All right, so let's come on back up. Return to pretzel. Maybe put the other shin in front if you have a tendency like I do to always put the same shin in front. <laughs> so let's start with the right shin on the floor left foot out front we'll do our tiny twist to start inhaling tall allow the right knee to drop and then we'll rotate to the right look out over that back shoulder if it's comfortable On the inhale, we'll come through the middle. Exhale, rotate to the left. Try to allow that knee to drop towards the mat. We're not holding these super long because we're gonna do another twist right after this. So let's come on back, switch. Inhale tall, exhale, rotate to the left. Try to keep the knee towards the mat. Relax that hip. Inhale through the middle. Exhale, rotate. Good, inhale back to the middle, let's switch again. This time we're gonna cross the left foot on the outside of the right leg. And then you can keep the foot on the floor like this or actually kick it back so that the knees are more or less stacked vertically. Mine won't stack perfectly, but pretty close. So let's inhale nice and tall. Exhale, we'll go to the right first. We'll hold this one a little bit longer. So continue to breathe, looking out over the back shoulder if it's comfortable. Good. 
Good. Next inhale, we'll come through the middle. Exhale, twist to the left. And on the next inhale, we'll come back to the middle. So let's switch the feet now. So now my left shin is on the ground. I'm going to cross my right foot over, pull the knees towards the midline, and then I'm going to pull my right foot down. You can keep your foot on the floor or just pull it down. Try to bring the knees towards the midline. Don't feel bad if they don't stack perfectly vertically. Let's inhale tall, exhale twist to the left to start. Look out over that back shoulder if it's comfortable. Next inhale, we'll come through the middle. Exhale, rotate to the right. Go ahead and come out of the twist. Then we'll come into our tabletop. All right, so we're in our tabletop. Let's stack everything appropriately. Make the modifications you might want to for your wrists. And we'll go ahead and start with cat cow. So inhaling for cow, exhaling for cat, nice and slow. Take your time. This is one pose we won't move through quickly because it's so important to everything else. I want to get nice and warmed up. One more round and then we'll go into airplane. So airplaning front and back to start. Take your time. Hold the pause or the lift. Check in that your tabletop is nice every once in a while. One more round on each side and then we will airplane out to the side. Take your time again. Match the movement to the breath. This is one we always want to do a lot of since it warms up everything so well. One more round on each side and then we'll meet in child's pose. a pillow from your couch under your forehead if it doesn't reach the floor or doesn't comfortably reach the floor. One more round of breath and then 
we'll return to tabletop. And let's walk it out into our Sphinx pose. Keeping the arms parallel to each other, press from the elbows all the way out to the fingertips. Walk the pelvis away if you need to. Remember to keep the shoelaces on the mat to protect the low back. Continuing to breathe. Next inhale, nice and big. Exhale, let's drop the elbows, flatten the armpits towards the floor, drop the head into crocodile. Pull those hands back towards the back of your neck if you want. And on the next inhale, let's take the hands under the shoulders. Exhale, peel the chest off the floor, baby cobra. Put more weight in your hands if you need to give your low back an assist. Elbows in. Go ahead and add on if you want, half locust. Hands by hips, continuing to breathe. And go ahead and take the shoelaces off the mat if you want to go into full locust. Totally up to you. And when you've had enough, lower it down, press yourself back into child's pose. One more round of child's pose. Take whichever variation works for you today. And when you're ready, we'll rise back up into tabletop for a moment. Take a step forward with the hands, curl the toes, push on up, downward facing dog. Remember to keep the arms and legs parallel here. Completely release the neck. Aim your heart towards your ankles. Press the heels towards the mat, and then push into the shoulders. Open the armpits, aim them towards the ankles. Pedal it out if you want, nice and slow. And on the next inhale, look between the hands. Exhale, walk the feet forward until you have to pop into your forward fold. You can use a block under your hands if you want. Let's put three quarters of our weight in our heels or thereabouts. I know we're still getting warmed up. So if you need to go just 50%, that's fine. Release the head and the neck. On the next inhale, big bend in the knees, reverse swan dive up, nice and slow. All the way up. Exhale, hands in front of heart. Inhale, let's reach it up again. Exhale, swan dive down slow. All the way into forward fold. Inhale, come up to flat back. Lengthen the ears away from the pelvis. Next, exhale, fold it down. 
Inhale, bend your knees enough that you can plant your hands. Exhale, step back with the left foot, high lunge. Inchworm that front foot up so the ankle is right under the knee. Push the back heel away. Adjust your front foot if you need to. Let the pelvis drop towards the floor. The weight of the pelvis will stretch the front of your left hip. If you want a bigger stretch for those psoas muscles, you can drop the back knee down, release the foot. Good. If you're down on the knee, inhale, curl the toe, push it back up, high lunge. Then everybody exhale, step it forward, hang in the forward fold for a moment. One round of breath. Next exhale, bend the knees to plant the hands. Big inhale. Exhale, step straight back with the right foot. Push the heel back. Bring the front foot so that the ankle is right under the knee. Allow the weight of the pelvis to drop towards the floor. Stretch out the front of your right hip. Those psoas muscles, dropping the back knee if you want. Release the foot. If you're down on the knee, inhale, curl the toe, bring it up high. Then everybody exhale, step it forward, hang in your forward fold. Big inhale, bend the knees, come on up nice and slow. All the way up. Exhale, hands in front of heart. Excellent, let's shake it out. So let's come into our Tadasana to start. If you have the mat facing your TV or your phone, you just can go ahead and face me. A little bit of distance between the feet, maybe a fist's width, a little bend in the knee. Let's engage the core to pull the tailbone down towards the floor, and then we'll just inhale it out. Making the spine as long and tall as we can. You're welcome to close your eyes, but you don't have to. All the joints have just a little bit of a bend in them, so you're activating all the muscles and ligaments around the ankles, around the knees, around the elbows, etc. Let's lift the heart a little extra tall. Good. All right, so let's do warrior one, which we don't normally do unless it's you seasoned folks who know what's up. So let's take one step forward with the right foot, toes point towards the top of the mat. Keeping in mind we may need to be on train tracks and not a balance beam here. Let's step back with the left foot, make it 30 to 45 degree angle. Keep yourself comfortable. Widen the stance enough that you can square your hips to the front of the mat. And then let's bend that front knee till we only see our big toe. Adjust the back foot however you need to, but again, we're going to continue to pull that left hip forward, right hip comes back. Next inhale, raise the arms up, relax the shoulders. Let's engage the front of the core to pull the belly in and continue to breathe. Next inhale, reach it tall. Exhale, spin it out, warrior two. So bringing the feet to the middle of the mat, check that a line through your front foot would bisect the arch of your back foot. Inhale big, exhale, bend the knee until we only see the big toe. Inhale the arms up, relax the shoulders. Check in that your arms are parallel to the floor. 
Kind of pull the shoulder blades together a little bit behind you. On the next inhale, cartwheel the arms up, triangle. Front leg is almost straight but not locked out. Then push the pelvis forward a bit. Bring the tailbone down, reaching towards the sky. Big inhale, legs stay the same. Exhale, cartwheeling the arms, grab above or below the kneecap, reach straight up towards the sky with the left hand. Big inhale, bend the front knee so it's right over your ankle. Drop the forearm down, exhale out and over. Extended side angle. Take that back foot away if you need to widen the stance a bit to get more comfortable and then reach with that left hand. Big inhale, exhale, cartwheel the arms back, reverse the warrior. Once you've shifted your weight to the back leg, check in with your front knee. Make sure you can only see your big toe. If you find the back bend gets uncomfortable, then reach straight on up. Next inhale, spin the right foot to face the front. And exhale into star. Tiny back bend if you want. Next inhale, extra big. Exhale, dive it on down, wide-legged forward fold. Now let's definitely put three quarters of our weight in our heels. We're probably warmed up at this point. Take your runner stretch option. Option one is hands by the right foot, torso along the right thigh. Push your hips to the left a bit. Option two is bend that knee, left toes towards the sky. Put the weight in your hands, drop the heel. Try to keep that left knee a little buoyant. Next inhale, let's come to the middle. Exhale, option one, hands by left foot, torso along the left thigh, push the hips a bit to the right. Option two, bend the knee, right toes towards the sky, weight in the hands, buoyant right knee. Next inhale, let's come on to, come on into the middle. Drop the heels down, let the weight come back. Buddha squat. So you may feel more comfortable here with a block under you. Totally fine. If you find it's uncomfortable to press the knees open, keep the stance really narrow, like a, more like a frog. Otherwise, we're going to press the backs of the arms into the inside of the knees, but also push the knees into the back of the arms. So it's 50-50. You'll feel the muscles on the upper back engage when you do that. Hey, buddy. Good. When you're ready, just kind of bring yourself into a little cannonball. Remove your block if you have one. And then we will get ourselves into a stance where we know we can stand up safely. So come on up nice and slow on the inhale. All the way up. Exhale, hands in front of heart. Good. 
So we'll do the other side now. Get a drink if you need to. Adjust your clothes. If you are facing the camera, you don't need to move around. You don't have to do anything different, but I will switch so you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. So let's start with no one's favorite pose. <laughs> Why or what? Tadasana first. Just for a moment. Then let's take a step forward with the left foot, step back with the right foot, angle it somewhere, 30 to 45, because we're gonna have to move it anyway. Widen this stance, bend that front knee until you only see your big toe, and then adjust the back foot accordingly. Remember, we're pulling the right hip forward now, sending the left hip back, trying to square the hips to the front of the mat. So if you're on train tracks, instead of a balance beam, odds are your form is better. And then we'll inhale the arms up, relax the shoulders, engage the front of the core. Good, next inhale, reach it tall, exhale, spin it out. Bring the feet to the middle of the mat for our warrior two. Inhale, tall, bend that front knee till you only see your big toe. Exhale, the arms up, relax your shoulders. Continuing to breathe through the nose. On the inhale, almost straighten that front leg. Exhale, cartwheel the arms up, sky archer. Reach straight up towards the sky, nice and tall. Keep the knees a little bit soft. Next inhale, extra reach. Exhale, cartwheel the arms, grabbing above or below the kneecap. Reach straight up to the sky with that right hand, triangle. Knees are still soft, especially the front one. Next inhale, bend the knee till it's over the ankle, drop the forearm, exhale out and over, reach, 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 walk that back foot away if you need to make the stance a bit more wide to be more comfortable. This is the pose I hate having to wear socks the most in. My sock ends up like rotating like 90 degrees on my foot every time. Inhale, legs stay the same. Next, exhale. Reverse the warrior. When the weight is shifted back, check in that you can only see your big toe on the front foot. Tiny back bend if you want, otherwise reach straight towards the sky. Continuing to breathe. Next inhale is nice and big. Exhale, let's open it up into star. Bring the stance in a bit if you need to for our goddess squats. So inhale, tiny back bend. Exhale, bend the elbows and the knees. Bring the tush under the body. Pull those shoulder blades together behind you. Next inhale, we come up slow. One round of breath. Next exhale, we lower it down. Trying to keep the booty underneath us. Next inhale, we come up nice and slow. One more round of breath. And next exhale, lower it down one more time. See how low you can go. Next inhale, we come up slow. Exhale, dive it down. Wide legged forward fold. Take whatever options you want now. If you want to be a pendulum, if you need to stretch the inside of your legs some more, if you want to do the super fold and take your hands under and thread the needle, any of those things. 
Go ahead and do them now. Keep a decent amount of weight in your heels regardless. And next, inhale. Plant the hands. Exhale, let's heel toe it in into a cannonball and then we'll go ahead and sit down. If you have blocks, you may want to keep them close by for the pelvic openers later. All right, so let's sit in our Dandasana for a moment. You can do the press with the arms if you'd like. And let's inhale, arms up. Nice and tall. Exhale, fold to a 45, and then hold on to your legs as far away as you can reach, trying to keep the neck in line with the spine. If you can reach your feet, grab your heels or your toes, but odds are you can't just because your arms aren't long enough until you've hunched yourself over, and we're trying not to hunch over yet. We want to warm the low back up a bit more before we do that. And also allow the muscles on the back of the neck and the upper back to work. So let's relax the muscles around the kneecaps if we can and see if we can fold a bit more without compromising the flat back. One more big round of breath and then go ahead and round over if you want. You can use your block to support your head if you want. And on your next inhale, lead out and then up with the head. Use the low back, come up with a flat back. Good, let's uh, do a twist here. So I'm going to bend my right knee and then set my right foot on the outside of my left leg. Inhale tall, let's start by rotating to the left first. I'm gonna take the bind with my right arm on the inside of my right knee. Push gently with the left hand to come into the twist. Trying to keep your torso stacked vertically here. Looking out over that left shoulder if it's comfortable. Next inhale, let's come through the middle. Exhale, other side, take the bind. Left arm on the outside of the right leg. Push into the right hand a bit if you want. Looking out over that back shoulder if it's comfortable. Next inhale, let's come back to the middle. Exhale, Dandasana. Inhale, bend the left knee now, set it on the right side of the right calf. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, rotate to the right. Take the bind, push into the right hand a bit, looking out over the back shoulder if you want. Continuing to breathe. Next inhale, let's come through the middle. Exhale, take the bind again on the other side. Look out over the back shoulder if it's comfortable. Check in that your torso is nice and long and stacked. Good. 
Good. Next inhale, let's come back to the middle. We're going to come down and do some happy baby. So you're all very used to happy baby. Take the version that works for you, but start in a cannonball. Roll around for a moment if you need to, and then go into whatever variation of happy baby you would want to do. One more round of breath, and then return to cannonball. Next exhale, lower the feet down. We'll do our final twist. So let's take the right leg over the left, scooch the hips to the right a couple inches, and then fold the legs to the left. Tee those arms out, move them around however you need to. Let the head roll to the right a bit if that's comfortable for you. Continuing to breathe. One more round of breath and then let's unwind nice and slow. Push into the bottoms of the feet. Bring yourself back to the middle. Good. Now let's cross the left over the right. Scooch just the hips a little to the left. Fold the legs over to the right. Move the arms around to counterbalance yourself. And go ahead and let your head roll to the left if that's comfortable. Continuing to breathe. And one more round of breath, and then we'll unwind nice and slow. Push into the feet to bring yourself back to the middle. And then go ahead and pick the version of Shavasana that you would like today. can do the feet together, knees out version. Feel free to support your knees with pillows or blocks from around your house, or just do the big starfish. Put your hood up, cover your eyes with something if you would like, whatever you would like to do. And I apologize um, that the neighborhood seems, my entire neighborhood seems to be walking right now, so there may be some extra sounds, but at least it's all joyful, or so it seems. Everybody seems very happy that the sun is out. So let's go ahead, close our eyes, settle into a nice slow rhythm of breath. Relax your jaw, relax your shoulders, your arms, the torso, and the legs. Taking this time to know that you deserve a little self-care. This is your reward for doing a nice, difficult workout but it's also a bonus for your mind. Give yourself permission to just be still, not judging yourself if you find you get fidgety or anxious or you want to check your phone or there's distractions in your house. It's okay. 
Just bring the mind back to the breath. And you may find it helpful to think to yourself, now I'm breathing in, now I'm breathing out. And you're welcome to use that if it helps you focus the mind a bit more to relax a bit more.
maintaining our Shavasana pose and start to bring some awareness back into the body. Maybe we wiggle our fingers and toes or make tiny circles with the wrists and ankles in no hurry. And when you're ready to come out, let's roll on to our right side, curl into a fetal position. Unless that's uncomfortable, you're welcome to lay another direction. But let's take several rounds of breath here in this nice pose of renewal before we go about the rest of our day. And when you're ready, push yourself up into a comfortable seated position with your arms. Take your time. However you'd like to sit is fine, as long as the spine is nice and tall. Let's close our eyes and do the diaphragmatic breathing in and out through the nose, nice and slow. Filling the lungs completely, exhaling out through the nose as slow as we can. And if you'd like to try the counted breath, I recommend doing either an inhale for a count of three, exhale for a count of six, or do four and eight. Same diaphragmatic breathing, but a very deliberate length of time for each. So the exhales are twice as long. One more round of counted breath and then return to the normal diaphragmatic breathing. Flutter the eyes open. Thank you for coming to virtual yoga on this beautiful day when you could have had 
plenty of other things to do outside. Namaste.